Look, I'm not sure what to say. <laughs> Can we go back to the $200 skin? <laughs> yeah, please. So, yesterday, Riot finally revealed what is happening with Faker's skins. It all started with Faker's mini documentary getting a teaser, then we got a semi-cinematic trailer for the skins connected to this, then we got a reveal of those skins, and then... Then we learned about the pricing. Thank and after testing nuts. out just how many players would be buying the $200 skins, Riot decided to step up their game and test out just how many players are able to take a loan to get a skin. So without <laughs> further ado, let's have a look at what is actually happening here. Of course, all of this is tied to something new called the Hall of Legends, a website that is currently giving honor to Fake, oh, it's an, perhaps on the, website, the best okay. League of Legends player, who is also just widely considered the best gamer in the world. Like, who here does not know Faker? Like, in all honesty, is there anyone here that has never heard of Faker? Because Faker, in the end, is the GOAT. If you haven't heard of Faker, like... Do you guys actually haven't heard of Faker? I don't watch League still! Like... Wow. Faker space. Well. In general, it is truly incredible to see what Faker was able to accomplish. He so, is some kind of giving honor makes sense here. I mean, if you just scroll through the website, you will see some quick recaps of what Faker did. After which, the website immediately dives into the Halls of Legends event. That's right, this is not just about giving honors to the players. It is also about the players giving up their money. Yes. However, as much as we may be joking here, the first microtransaction that's revealed here is pretty good. At They're, least yeah, compared to other league too. standards. Because remember, all in-game purchases are subjective because Riot are the ones setting up the prices. So first we got the Hall of Legends event pass. That's right, we got a whole new battle pass with this which is still priced within League's reasonable window. Although it is still about $5 more expensive than all the other passes. So for about $20, expect 100 levels of unlockable rewards. And here, I really want you to remember that this has 100 rewards, okay? Just mm -hmm. keep that 100 yeah, in your Yeah, keep it head. in mind. And here you honestly keep get it a month quite for the later. bang of rewards. The main prize here is going to be the Risen Legend LeBlanc, which is your standard ep- Thank you for the sub! Thank you, Theod. Theodo has subscribed to the channel. Thank Chats you so much. Up. Cheers to Theodo joining the Chaotic yeah, Crew. Cheers. Get ready for epic gaming banter, challenges, and unforgettable moments. Let's dive into the digital realm together and make every stream legendary. Thanks, Jetsu. The first one is good value, it is. Skin. Together with this, you will also get all the SKT but I don't care about all of this. for all the champions I don't care. that Faker played, 125 Mythic Essence, which is pretty good, that is about one half of one of the most prestigious skins, what about the and people a that lot care about of Faker-themed items. There are f what about the people that only want the Ari skin? Fuck you, Riot! 14 new icons and emotes, the Broccoli Baron title, which is an obvious joke about Faker and the Broccoli. The Hide on Bush Ward, which that I believe is, is a reference to Faker wading in bushes with his rise. The no, his name used to be Hide on Bush, I believe. I think that was one of his um, old names for when he was leveling in different regions, I think was. The reason the last Ari skin is on... Ew, because you pay 250 for the skin and 250 so you get the entire pass and therefore aren't forced to play the shit game. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. Double Demon King banner, which is another reference to his nickname, and six loot orbs, each of which should have at least one skin you have inside. Money for some money, so right? as you can see, for about $20, <laughs> it is still expensive, that yes. is a lot. I would actually say that is a pretty good per- oh. This? 
for what we are used to regarding how they used to price skins and shit and not the reason gacha bullshit. This is 100% good value. Only that I don't care about any of this. I don't care about any of these. I don't. I only care about the hour skin. Purchase if you play League of Legends a lot. Because remember, it is still a battle pass. You have to play the game to, play. to get all of these. You don't just get them, even though that's what you paid for. But alas, such is the fate of battle passes. So, so far so good, right? Can I spam TFT to get Wrong. the rewards? Let's have a look at the second microtransaction. Here, you can buy a standalone skin. A skin that has some legendary quality features, but okay. it is not a full rework of the animations. Still, this one will cost you $50, which in reality is a whole bundle. You can't... Okay, it's the pass and the skin, and it's a takedown counter taunt. An exclusive icon, an emote, an exclusive body. Okay, okay, let's dissect this. Usually, what are passes usually priced at? They are usually priced at around $15. The takedown counter, those were already included on previous skins. I don't... You cannot put this in here as a reward for this. Fuck you. Ari champion? So does this mean... If I already own Ari, this is this would be cheaper. Does that mean that? Because sometimes they do bundles like that where the champion is included for RP. Does it mean it would be five thousand instead of five thousand? What does it say? Three four hundred? Exclusive icon and emote and an exclusive border. Usually a skin when it when a skin usually releases in Riot and they have like an event alongside and it gets an emote and an icon extra, it's usually $5 on top. RP, RP is Riot points. <laughs> it's Riot's own currency. You can approximately, you get approximately 1,300 RP for $10. More or less. No, it's more like a thousand for ten dollars nowadays. I think when it changed, it's like fifteen for thirteen hundred, something like that. So five dollars a. So I uh, let's remove the border and the icon, which is plus an emote. Okay, let's say that's ten. Then that's twenty five for pass and that. Ari champion, let's say. That's 30. So the skin would be at a $20 cost standard with all the things included. It's still expensive. Let us buy the skin on its own. I don't want the pass. I just want the skin. Actually buy this skin as a standalone item. Now this bundle will... You can't actually buy this that skin is, as a standalone item. Why not? Now this bundle will also give you the Hall of Legends Battle Pass. Which means that technically the skin is only $30. But it is a marketing trick. They still made you buy things in bulk. So, in reality, the price stays Let us 50. buy the skin and on its own! And what makes this one special is not just Faker's name attached to it. It does have some unique features. The skin has a special taunt that actually gives you a number of all your takedowns. And... That's kinda it. You also have your special border and an icon and an emote. Those things but already those are kind of standard these days. Exactly. And no, I those don't count getting existed. the actual champion as a bonus. So on it top really of doesn't. the quality of a normal epic skin, you are just paying extra $10 for an emote that shows you your takedowns. Which is not the best, but it is still not that bad. No, if we want to go bad... We need to turn a, a microtransaction oh. into a macro transaction. And we do that <laughs> by raising the price six times. That's right, as the gaming company trend goes down. Hold on. Someone did the math and rides on average the whole big bundle would be worth around 20k RP, but cost 60k. Wow. So even with the actual math being done, it would Quote unquote, only be 20k, but they just pushed up to 60k just for shits and giggles. Thanks, Riot.
these days. This skin has multiple tiers for purchase. I mean, where did Riot get this idea? Honestly, where? Ubisoft and yes, Probably. we are jumping up from the price of $50 all the way to 32,000 RP. My or in twitching. other words, about $300. My that is twitching. already more than the $200 skins. And this one is not even part of a gacha system, so you have to buy it for that high price directly. It's supposed to be better. I'm not sure if it is. Well, as it tends to be upon seeing this high price, people usually look at what they can get for that price to see if it is justified. So, <sighs> let's have a look at what we get. So, for the extra $250, you get an upgraded version of the skin. This skin has an extra feature. It evolves. Based on the video, you get credit for destroying structures or killing opponents. Okay, so it's an ultimate skin for 10 times the price point. And after getting enough points, the skin evolves, which pretty much just turns her dress black and it turns her tails into a bunch of foxes. Admittedly, it looks pretty good. It and does. there is also a third evolution, which essentially turns the skin into a prestige version but that's only up during her ultimate. So when the ultimate goes off, she transforms back. Although while it's up, apparently she also gets unique HUD elements on screen. Now, if you look directly at all the things listed here in this bundle, uh -huh. you have the unique transformations, which uh -huh. we just mentioned, but here we learned that each transformation also has unique voice lines, but apparently the skins also get a custom visual announcer, which I assume Wait, is what? not a new voice for the announcer. It should really be just a new border around the words first blood. Then this skin also has a Probably, unique yeah. animation for destroying towers and killing enemies. It is this fox slamming down which looks like a finisher from Valorant. And all things considered, this it's should be cool. an entirely new fox. thing. Yeah, Ari. As far as I am aware, finishers don't exist in League of Legends. No, even they don't. Though they exist. They were thinking about that quite a while back ago, but they just never went anywhere with it. And I guess now we know why. I guess now we know why. In every other Riot game. So from a marketing perspective, I have to advise you. You have $300 skin, my Ari Ben, who's gonna win? Um, let me tell you, it's called Quick Q. Quick Q is gonna win because people are just gonna play Ari and Quick Q and you can't ban her. Simple. Don't get baited into buying an expensive skin because it has some features which other skins don't. Eventually, after this feature gets tested, it is extremely likely we will see other finishers in the game. Maybe it will be turned into a separate too. cosmetic. Aww, That's what you. would make sense. Once the Pandora's box gets opened, it will be everywhere. Aww. And it happens in literally every live Stop service game ever. So don't buy it just for the finisher. Anyway, next it also gets mentioned that you get everything from the previous bundle. So pretty much just the border icon and emote, and also the battle pass. There is also a holographic immortalized splash art, which sounds way too cool for an animated for what splash it is. art, which you are only going yeah. to see during champion select. So you will see it exactly for like uh, 60 seconds. Uh, there is also let a me tell you, let me tell you, this splash art, it's not going to be animated in the loading screen. This is not going to be animated on the loading screen. This is only going to be seen on your profile, not on the loading screen. Dynamic profile background, which I assume is the ex it's pro it's the exact same thing. I'm telling you, those two things are the exact same thing, just advertised in different words, one hundred percent. Exact same animation which you can see on screen right now, except uh, you will see it on your profile. An immortalized border, so uh, a cooler version of the previous border. And new icon and emote, so a cooler version of the previous icon and Wait, do you even get the pass so with really, this? You don't get much from the previous pack. Do you and even get the pass? Should be Is there even a pass in this?
I don't see the pass on this. This doesn't even have the pass. This is just the skin. This is just the skin, which is a little bit above ultimate. what justifies the $250. It means you are paying for the transformation feature and that is honestly it. You are- Which already exists in game with ultimate skins. The transformation feature already exists. What is this? Are raising it from an epic skin to a legendary skin for $250. But, um... Uh, if you look down there, uh, you know that's not it. Uh, we all know that there is also the, the signature, the third bundle. There. So let's get into let's it. Rip the band-aid off. Oh, so God. for over double the price, or fifty-nine thousand two hundred and sixty RP, or in other words, yeah, almost five hundred and twenty dollars, the new features better get mind blown. It doesn't have the pass though. It has a hundred pass levels, but not the pass. Hold up. Blowing. And do you know what? They will blow your mind. I'm just not sure it's gonna be in a good way. So, on top of the skin evolving for another $250, which overall is more than the minimum wage of many countries around the world, the skin gets a new Faker's signature move. Which shows Faker above Ari. Whoa. Yeah. Also, you have Faker's Structure Finisher, which gives you a bit of red smoke around the tower when you destroy it and a, a signature pops up. Next, you also have the final boss Faker title, which, first of all, that is a weird title. Would I be the final boss Faker Necrit? Doesn't really have the ring to it. Nope. But also, <laughs> I am pretty sure people will get bullied if they are caught with this title, just like they have with the $200 Jin skin. Uh. Then, of course, there is yet another border with yet more icons and emotes. So, again, the previous ones lose their value. There is also a new signature splash art, which is exactly the same as the previous one, except uh, this one is signed. Just to remind you, that is a digital signature on your screen for a five hundred dollars. So then give it mentions you also get everything price. from the previous <laughs> bundles, which is pretty much the transformation feature of the skin and uh, the battle pass. You also oh, get a special chroma recaller of the Blanc this. skin and a special recaller for all the T1 skins it's of the robbery. champions yeah. that Faker played. But lastly and most importantly, you also get one. 100 pass levels. Now let me ask you a question. Okay, so our time is literally being paid for now because we could we could technically calculate how long it would take to get 100 pass levels. So we can see what Riot values our time at if we did the math, which I'm not going to do because I suck at math. Do you remember the thing I told you to remember? The hundred That's passes. That's right. Yep. Why play a game that gives you rewards, which you paid for, when you can pay $500 and just skip... I'm just gonna say, being able to buy pass points, I'm not against that. I'm against the price. I'm against the price. Being able to buy the pass levels, I'm okay with. I'm against this price! <laughs> like, what the fuck is this? How much RP is those levels worth as? <laughs> this is $520, I believe, Necrit said. This is just an investment. Buy that skin, wait for a year until it's not available anymore, and sell the account for triple the price. Easy peasy crypt. <laughs> Keep everything and get all the rewards at once. What's crazy about this is that, yes, this is literally just you buying a digital signature and 100 level boosts. That is it. That is honestly wild. Like, look, if Faker doesn't personally... I, I still don't see the pass itself being included in here. I, I'm scared that the pass is not included in this price point. 
simply come to my room and sign the tower I just destroyed. He needs to I'm do not it. Sure if it's worth it. He needs to In do fact, it. In fact, now I'll... you might be asking, just who is this for? Well, let me tell you. It's for all the people who buy all the skins, regardless of what they are. To which you might argue, those people don't exist. They do. To which I would reply, oh yeah, they do. They do. I have the receipts. <laughs> 60k isn't that bad. Try getting 1,600 plus skins. Oh my god, let me make myself small. And it's a 0.1% leak. Well, this is good news for me. Fuck off, that's pretty cheap. Can't wait to get closer to 1,700 skins. <laughs> the whales have ruined our game. Well, not the game, but the microtransactions. The whales have ruined our microtransactions. They have turned them into macrotransactions. Those people are real. They f scare me, dude. <laughs> now, throughout all of this, I have to let my opinion out. And the truth is... To be fair, if you have the money, and if you want to be railing on something, it's your fucking money. Do whatever the fuck you want to with your money. Right? That is your God-given right. It's your God-given right to spend your own earned money to f for whatever the fuck you want to. But a casual League of Legends and Joyous still want good skins. And this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Yeah, spent money on Kitsu. Yes, spent your money on Kitsu so, so I can own this skin too. Right, this is ridiculous! Throw it all, the kids are not right. Yeah, 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 throw, throw your money at me so I can buy the skin. <laughs> I don't really care what Riot is selling. It's a skin, and fortunately, and the it's a, a skin. skin can't ruin gameplay. Exactly. With a, with a few exceptions. Buying skins is alright, it's when the company does the shit that the community must take a stand or it will get worse, yeah? If you buy the skin, all Fortnite winner, winner, chicken dinner, Gangnam Style on you, in game. What does that mean? What does that even mean? <laughs> is a man not entitled to the sweat of their credit card? Make the potato empire great again. <laughs> chat, 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 listen to me, chat. You have gifted me a PC chat. I am forever grateful to you for me being able to get a new PC. Now I need to ask you for one more thing. Get me the Ari skin. Thank you. <laughs> of course, there are exceptions. So is League worse because this skin got released? Arguably not. So I'm not mad at Riot or anything no, can like do that. <laughs> I just think they've no, gone no, no. mad. This is ridiculous, because I have man. no idea the who shit's could ridiculous. even like this. Also, <laughs> I am mad. Yeah. The drama is not over. You'll see some it's pretty awful over? things coming in in just a second. What? Anyway, this is worse? supposed to be a celebration of Faker. Instead, how it is a celebration... Yeah, how are we supposed to celebrate the Faker when no one can fucking afford this shit apart from the 0.001% of the fleet players? Like, ugh. Jesus! Skibidi Ohio, oh my god, he's got that guy's nut wrist juice in him. What are you saying? <laughs> the skin is almost halfway of a decent PC cost on its own. Yeah, somebody get this girl a new microphone so she can range with clarity. <laughs> ah! What's the USB disconnecting? Not to mention, Faker almost never uses skins anyway. Yeah of the people who can afford to celebrate Faker. And honestly, I don't think that's gonna be many. I st the zero... Zero point one percent of the fucking whales that buy the skin don't even fucking care about Faker. They don't care about esports. Those people, like, this... It, it's not even an... They don't even... No. <laughs> I'm so mad! Like, the whales don't care about esports, they don't care about Faker, they just care about the skins! This is ridiculous all the way around! 
still think a lot of people will buy the base $50 version. That's gonna be way more people than you probably think. A slightly smaller chunk of all of those people will actually go for the $250. It sounds ridiculous, but I actually believe that. But hopefully not too many people get baited into the $500 bundle. Uh, that one is uh, a joke. And what's the dumbest the part- The skin makes me want to throw up. Like, knowing this exists makes me want to throw up, because I know I won't be able to have it because it's so expensive. It just... It's ridiculous. It makes me sad. As a person who likes spending money on skins... Not so much lately anyway, because I'm not really playing that much League anyway. Um, this makes me sad. This is sad. About all of this? is that I don't think Faker even gets a cut from this. He does. Like, if 30%. 30%. 30%. But the 30% go to Faker, esports in general, and SKTT1. So I don't know the exact percentage of those 30% that go to Faker, but right, let's say 30% are even rate already increasing. I'm already telling you, people that want to play the skin, they will just play quick play. It doesn't matter. You can't ban the you can't ban a champion in quick play. It really doesn't matter. I'm so disgusted by the blatant corporate money scam that I own and sold every right product on my PC. The, do you think Riot cares? They don't. Faker gets 90% of all the profits. A lot more people would feel better about their illusion that they are actually supporting an individual. But it's more likely that Riot will get most of the profits. And yeah, many people will feel like Riot is just leeching off of Faker, which, in this case, that's exactly what they might be doing. So, um, apparently, that is indeed what there, happening. There's 30%. Because on the website, they confirm that 30% of the profits will go to the entire team. Which is reasonable, because Faker wouldn't be where he is without a team. But not only is the 30% cut quite bad, but that also means that Faker directly gets even less. So overall, <laughs> the situation is not amazing. Oh. But don't worry, we are not done with the drama just yet. Because there is one more thing we have to mention. At the very bottom, there is also an what FAQ is for this skin. Oh. And here they talk about how oh, long no. the event will be up for, what the Hall of Legends I if it's is like about. two weeks. They even talk about how the pricing was decided. Long story short, it is for those who are uh, looking to flex their fandom. Uh -huh. For $500. Again, esports and joys are not whales. Whales like to flex their money. Those are two different demographics. Those are two different people. This is only for the people to flex their money. This isn't for the esports enjoyers. This isn't for fake offense. This is not for fake offense. This is, this is for the whales. Yeah, do you remember feeling pride and accomplishment? Also, in another question, they mentioned that uh, this... This will return annually. Yep, Riot plans to release but not the skin. a new $500 not the skin. skin every a year. A new skin. But that, that's not the worst part. Somehow, things get far How? worse. How do and they I get mean, worse? This is the bottom of the barrel of predatory practices. Because after setting up this ridiculous price, and after trying to bait people into buying something they will absolutely regret buying the next year, <laughs> they drop the sickest line on the entire website. Oh no, website. what did I do? At current, this content is meant to be available for limited time only. And yeah, there are okay, no so plans to bring these cosmetics no. back. Okay, Likewise, there that. are no plans to add the Hall That's of Legends ridiculous. cosmetics to the loot pools, including rerolls. You can't even reroll That's the right. skin. This is a $500 FOMO. If it was just $500, who cares? It's a skin the world won't burn. But if yeah. you say, hey, that's a $500 skin, and it will never return. Well, now you are absolutely just baiting people into buying it. Yep. This is, it without is. a doubt, it is predatory. It because is. you it are is. exploiting it your own player's impulsiveness. It is, it is, it 100% is. It is so bad. It is so bad. My fingers are itching to have the skin, and I hate that I can't have it. 
because I I don't want to spend five hundred dollars on a skin, even two hundred. Like let's say even two hundred because you don't need the you don't need the five hundred dollar one. You don't need that, right? Because that literally only pass points. What the fuck ever. You could just play the fucking game. Two hundred dollars for a skin. I'm gonna throw up. And you know this is what you are doing, because this is an extremely common practice. There's no value to your skin other than it looks good and for bragging. Yeah. 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 I love being spoiled by the game. I spend my free time abused at work and abused the game. <laughs> Found a loss for a bunch of zeros and ones. Yeah. You could just buy 60 subway foot loans for that kind of money. Yep. 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 This is solely based on the gamers. They have to unite even if half the player base buys this, they win. Brother, even if only 10 people buy this, they win. Even if only 10 people buy this $500 thing, they win. And I guarantee you, there is at least 50 people that are going to buy this. Because there are whales that play this game just to show off they have money and no reason else. And let me tell you, I know a person like that. I do know a guy like that who has just ridiculous amounts of money and spends it all on League from nothing. He, he isn't good at the game. He doesn't care about the esports. He just likes to own a lot of skins. It's Neko? No, it's not Neko. It's no one you guys know. It's no one you guys know. It's uh, an older friend. Uh, this well, is knows garbage. Some. And even though before it was just jokingly bad, with this single line, any solidarity you could have had before was just destroyed. I understand that the feedback will be harsh, and I understand that the prices will not change as a result. But he doesn't this even play League anymore. Yeah, he doesn't. And he be a limit. Bro, bro, bro. He doesn't play League anymore, and he still buys skins. That's the thing. He doesn't play League anymore, but he still buys the skins when he. Jo uh, when he opens leak once in a new moon. Those are whales! That is whale behavior! Which is okay. Good for him! It's his money, spend it however you want to. But Riot is abusing it! Fuck you, Riot! Did purchase. There is no reason to do it. <laughs> and you the are are <laughs> actually harming people. So please, Riot, reconsider this. And that they want. is the $500 skin. They will explained. not reconsider. I honestly don't I should even hydrate. know how After we got to this point. It all started with prestige skins. Then we got some mythic essence. Then we got $200 skins. And now we are up to $500. What's like, honestly, next? what's going to be next? A thousand? There has to be a thousand dollar bundle one day, right? Like, that is where uh, we are going. There is, like, please. nothing else that can be done oh. now. Every video game under what the sun has multiple editions that have ridiculous prices. Where are the now... days? Where are the days when I could just spend $10 and get, like, five skins by re-rolling? Where are those days? Why do skins have the same thing? And what's worse is that it is confirmed that it will be coming back annually, so it will be a $500 annual FOMO. And you know what's the worst about all of this? Riot warned us. They warned us with the tag they put on their trailer. <laughs> Again, I checked that trailer, it's not there. I checked the trailer, it's not there, but they might have just removed it. They might have just removed it, man. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. I don't... I genuinely don't think that they would put this tag there. I don't think that they would put this tag there. Probably removed for negative PR. I mean... I can't see why they would make a tag like that. A thousand R remains are now screaming, including me. Including me. I am yelling. This this is insanity. This is insanity. You would be surprised? I guess I would.